Haven't had many electrolyte updates recently, so figured I'd do this video here. Um, we've been working on uh, molded wings for the last several months, and uh, after making the molds, this is the first prototype wing that was made. It's uh, vacuum bagged, traditional hollow molded with a 30 second balsa with a two ounce fiberglass on either side. The skin material, the skin hinge material is Kevlar and uh, works just fine. As you can see, there's a couple little imperfections. This is the first attempt, but um, overall, the wing's nice. It's way overbuilt for uh, this. The model's a 20 inch wingspan overall, but this panel is just nine inches. And I mean, this thing is just beefy. And uh, the weight of it is, 29 grams. So for a nine inch panel, it's it's a little overbuilt here. So uh, after making this first prototype wing, I was uh, discussing my options with uh, my friend Troy Peterson, who's uh, pretty experienced with molds. And uh, we were brainstorming using expandable foam instead of uh, using a vacuum bag and a, a core material. So this is the first attempt. And uh, here you can see that after the one and a half ounce cloth had been laid in top and bottom, there was also a, uh, a hinge material. This happened to be a, a peel ply instead of the Kevlar on the other wing. But once the, the one and a half ounce fiberglass tacked up, joined the mold, poured in this expandable foam. It's uh, once again, two and a half pound density. And uh, when we popped it out, plenty strong much faster to do, no vacuum bagging, um, and we saved four grams, which isn't too bad for a first attempt. Uh, I, love the, I love the speed at which you can make this wing. It's very fast, painless, not a big deal. Um, some issues that we're still working on is uh, you can see some imperfections right up there at the root, also down there. And uh, haven't exactly figured it out, um, just because we've only done a couple of these wings. But I think it has to do with uh, the amount of epoxy that's uh, on the skin when you pour in the foam, and also how long you uh, let the foam expand for uh, before taking the wing out of the mold. So those are all issues. Still working on it, but uh, the wings very encouraging. The hinge works great. Um, and uh, here you can see, done a couple different wings here. This is kind of, this is what it looks like. Now this wing was uh, an attempt to do no fiberglass on the skin and just primer. And uh, it, it delaminated in places and other places it bonded. But, uh, you know, lots of imperfections. So. Uh, as much as I like the, the concept of no glass, I'm not sure that it's going to work. Um, and here you can kind of see what was going on. But, uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. And I'm uh, going to keep working on this. Seems encouraging. Possible fast way to make some uh, light molded wings.